All right. It says we're live. I got an email. Yep. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Notified. All right. <laughs> <laughs> real now. It's real. Quit talking it, crap about uh, Miguel. We're live. We're yeah. live. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. We got a couple people in. Hello, everybody. Hi. We'll just uh, kind of uh, chit chat here for a little bit, waiting for uh, some people to join. Appreciate everybody joining with us on time. Hopefully, everybody had a good day. Yeah, we were almost not on time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Getting into those snake rants before the video even starts. <laughs> yeah, one of those, you know. Yeah. That's part of it, though, man. Ah, that is the best part about it. Yeah. Exactly. It is. It's fun. It's fun. It's weird. Like I, I honestly think that I've I've got like a couple of buddies that are like like two three guys that are like my 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 best friends. It'd be my wedding, everything. Right. I talk to like snake people more than them. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Me too. Me too. Yeah. If somebody texts me about like a snake and my bud like my best friend texts me, I'm like, oh, swipe his and like I answer the snake guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Called me like, yo, answer my fucking text messages. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot about them. Shit. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, dude, I get it, man. I get it. I yeah, I talk to primarily people from the snake hobby almost every day. I would say. Yeah, day. Oh yeah, totally. I um, mean, we got some people joining. KB's in here. Thank you guys. Genomic What's Labs. Brenda Lynn. Christopher's Nick in here. Renowned. Hey everybody. Yeah, we got Renowned in here. Yeah. Adam H is in here. I don't know who that guy is. We should block. We should block him immediately. Yeah, yeah you need to get that dude out of here. <laughs> That's my second account. Yeah, you're your moderator for your moderators. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I still got to figure that out. Gotta, if you uh, click on the chat, like on their chat, the uh -huh. little three dots pop up on the right. Yeah, you can click those three dots, and you can make somebody a, a moderator or not. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just have a remove button. So I can't I can't see any chat at all. Is that normal? Uh you so, have to you have to open it up on a YouTube browser. Yeah. But mute your YouTube browser. Uh, okay, hang on, I'll do that right now. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, the hangouts takes over as your screen. Right. Um then you gotta you gotta screw you have to do it over, yeah. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, because the crazy. hangouts like a... takes over as your screen. Now mute that. A double right now. Um, then you gotta. There we go. There you go. Yeah, now we're now we're doing now we're cooking. We're cooking. Now we're cooking. Yeah, so you can get in there on chat. Oh yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we got uh twelve people that have joined. Thanks everybody. Uh, three minutes past. We'll uh just kind of wait for some more people to join in. If you guys have some pre questions you'd like to get in now, go for it. My name is Adam Hubbleb. I'm the dude speaking right now. We got Joel over there. Say say hi, Joel. Hey, hey, Joel here. And we got our special guest coming all the way from Canada, Mr. Will Moros from Royal Canadian Reptiles. Hey, guys. How's it going? Sweet. For anybody that doesn't know, Mr. Will is a... Uh, you know, one of the uh, badasses around here in the ball python community is working on some projects that are amazing. Um, and oh, this is going to be, it's going to be really good tonight. So yeah. Yeah. Will, Will's projects are, are on it. They're already next level. There are that, you know, there's, there's, there, I feel like four years ahead of most people for sure. Thanks. Mm, I appreciate it. A long yeah. Time, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Long drive. yeah. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun, you know? Dude, yeah, sure. Nick, my my cow's doing pretty good right now. He's uh, he's down behind me eating a bone right now. <laughs> and uh, Will, did you get a haircut? Would oh, you like yeah. to know first first question of the night? Took it right down. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Actually, well, you guys saw me as uh, when you guys saw me in Pomona, that was like a mop for me. <laughs> you know, I, I'm 29. I'm bald. I have nothing I can do about it. But right, yeah. It is what it is. I would kill to have your hair, Joel. Oh. <laughs> nah, you're looking good. You're looking good, buddy. Yeah, well, if I didn't have this hair, my ears would look so big. <laughs> yeah. They're out, dude. 
it's rough, it's man. It's all good. I, I hear you can hear real good with those, so yeah, dude. That's the worst part. I can't. So it's like <laughs> dude, they just look stupid, no function. Like it's, it's the worst. pick up like different frequencies and stuff. Yeah, I do get radio stations though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the plate in your head, so that's uh, actually yeah. the, the it's thing. A, it's the whole thing. It's the ears and the plate and the. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know you. Uh, you used to race uh, motocross. Yeah, yeah, I did that pretty much my whole life. Yeah. Any, uh, did you do any uh, street stuff? Uh no. Yeah, you I didn't know. do anything on the street. Yeah. Are you I going to get ran over by cars, man. Just get a bike. Just get a bike for the road. It's fun. <laughs> I've got, got one. I love it. I'm trying to get Adam on one too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. I know they're fun. <laughs> yeah, my uh, I miss my Ducati. Every time I talk to Will, I start browsing online and start making plans <laughs> and the whole deal. Yeah. Checking your bank account. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I can do it. How many snakes could you get for a Ducati? You know. Oh. Depends what you're asking for. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. one. Yeah, one black ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can get a body right. for the price of a monsoon for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, I love it. I love my bike. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, bikes are fun. They're a lot of fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Did Adam just pull that beard out of his beard. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I I was planning on shaving, but just. Last time with everything going on. So. <laughs> now, dude, <laughs> that's right where you want to be. It's all froed out tonight. Yeah, I didn't use any of uh, Chris Graham's. You know, uh, beard, beard oil. oil. Yeah. yeah, I got some of that. It's really good for anybody looking out there. Check out his stuff. It's a good beard yeah. oil. If I had facial hair, I would definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I get, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so all right. Well, you know, we got 17 people. I yeah. think we uh, let's cool. get rolling. We're about eight minutes after. So, sure. um, you know, we always kind of start out the old generic way and give uh, everybody an opportunity to kind of know where you came from, Will, and, and how you got started in reptiles and, you know, all that. Sean Bradley took us back to, I think, before 13 years of age. So it's up yeah. to you how far back you want to go. So. <laughs> Well, I mean, I can uh, I can go back to as a kid. Uh, my dad's a veterinarian, so animals in the house have always been like super cool, no problems there. Uh, so I immediately was drawn towards like the snakes, geckos, uh, you know, all everything really reptile. Right. right. And my first encounter with ball pythons, uh, I was probably seven and seven or eight, and I had a ball python in a tank in my room. I know, total noob, right? Right. Um, and so I, I had him for probably probably two years and we were going to Florida and we were just going on a family vacation and uh, <laughs> and my cousin came over because while we were gone, she came over to watch the snakes. Right. And she was going to feed them. And I used to have the screen top and I had a textbook on the top to hold it down. She forgot to put the textbook back on top. Uh -huh. And he popped the lid gone so we got home and i go down to my room and i'm looking around in my 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 room for my the tank for him and he's not there and my mom she put up with the snakes as long as she didn't have to see them right and right still to this day like in the snake room like just sort of pokes her head in like are you guys done and then, like back out like she does not like snakes i respect that right uh, and so my dad came down and he's like what's going on i was like oh i lost the snake and it was loose in the house and my mom flipped, flipped. Like it was like February. She's like standing on the porch in her pajamas. It's like minus like 30. She's like, I'm crying. Like, I can't go in there. Like freaking out, right? So my dad convinced her, don't worry. Like the dogs will have got it. It'll, it'll it, like, it, it can't survive. There's no way. And he's like, you need to keep looking for this. And so I kept yeah. looking. I just kept my mouth shut. And two months went by and I came home from school and it was curled up around a uh, heat vent in the floor. <laughs> and so I, I was so excited that I like, called my mom. And I was like, mom, you never guess I found the snake. And on the oh. phone, I was like, what? Ah! And hangs the phone up. <laughs> She's terrified because she has been living in the house for two months with this loose snake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah, so that was the like 
initial introduction and then sort of had them for a little while after that grew grew into like teens found girls decided you know snakes are lame not for me anymore yeah. and then went to university and there's a pet shop and every day on the way home i would walk by the pet shop and this pet shop had a huge like a room and it had uh ring-tailed lemurs in the room what yeah they were so cool you could like put your hands on the cage and they come up and like you could feel like their fingertips on your fingertips it was just like really cool and this so like i would go like every day and go check these out just walk in chill for five minutes looking at them and then go back out and i started right. to, get to know the owner of the shop and he had a ball python in there and i went in and i was like hey man like i don't have i was in university didn't have that much money and i ended up convincing him to let me take the ball python had a burn on its tail and i took her home had her for a couple of years and it wasn't long until like about, about two years later and she was getting big and i didn't know it was a girl right it was a female and uh we started researching snakes started researching ball pythons uh, i was actually going to put her into a, a different enclosure so that's why mm -hmm. i started researching stuff and then all of a sudden i came across marcus jane reptiles marcus jane ball pythons right marcus. And it turns out he was only like 25 minutes away from me. Like one of the, the big guy in Canada was 25 minutes away. And so I called him and I was like, hey man, like I just was on your website. You have some like really different looking ball pythons. And he's like, yeah, like why don't you come down? And I was, you could tell I was interested and I came down. And that day I left with a caramel male and three het caramel females that were about a thousand grams. Right. So probably second or third year uh, of university. and. Um, and yeah, I started to started to breed them, sold some. I was doing it with a buddy for a little bit, and I was doing like fairly well. And then I started to show my my dad, who's also like super into the snake stuff, and I showed him, and he was like, "Like this is really like cool." Yeah. And so that's when the floodgates opened, and he was like, "What can like can I help you out with this?" And that's when it just sort of went. Right. Like I couldn't have done it without his help, so I owe a lot to him. Um, and we still like to this day like. I text him like every day, like, Hey, what do you think of this pairing? Hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of that? Uh, right. he's sort of behind the scenes, enjoying like taking care of them, feeding them. Uh, not that I don't do that as well. I just, uh, you know, sort of do the face of the, of the company. Right. Uh, but yeah, we like bounce ideas off each other. He's always on morph market. You know, do you see what Ozzy made? Do you see what Justin did? Do you see <laughs> right. That's awesome. yeah, I saw it. Like it's crazy. <laughs> what type of vet is he? Uh, does he uh, specialize or a uh, small animal? Oh, okay. Small animal, yeah. So yeah, he owns his own clinic. Um, Man, and yeah, that's how awesome doing. is that having a vet as you know, like shoot, yeah. right there. Like if anything's going on, he could take a look at him and the whole deal. It's actually crazy. It's like you know, everybody goes through it. You've had like RIs, you've had stuff like that on everything on hand. Go up, get it, treat it, take care of it, like nip it in the butt. You know. Yeah. So. That's pretty much how I started, really. And mm -hmm. it, it just sort of started rolling from there. Like, we started in probably 2007 uh, and started, like, seriously keeping in 2008, 2009. And it just sort of really blew up. Um, I remember, you know, the very first snake that we made was a killer bee. And I think they were going for, like, I want to say 3500 bucks at the time. Yeah. And so it was like, it's crazy to look back and be like, killer bee, like, yeah, like someone just take it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's crazy to look back like that and thinking like pastel and cheese were like 4,500 bucks. So I was like, holy. But I, I love the way that it's going. I love how advanced it's gotten and how like complex it's getting. And I'm like a, sort of a science nerd at heart. So I love like the genetic aspect and everything, you know, along those lines. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much how it started. And I, I, I love it. I love going in and being like, okay, this is, this is double hat, this, and this is, you know, dull hat clown pie. And this is a pied hat clown, orange dream, yellow belly. And mm -hmm. like this, the next year I can take this and come over here and this. And, and yeah. always, I, I really think that some guys try to breed to sell. And I think that's a wrong mentality. I mean, you, you, I think that if you work on pushing your collection to the next level and making those cutting edge projects, people notice and people start buying. Yeah, absolutely. They want to join that project. Right. I think the guys that are, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to make a whole bunch of pies this year. It's like, well, 
I mean, if that's what you want to do, I am not knocking it. Like if you really love pies and you just want to crank out pies and you just love hatching snakes, no, all the power to you. Right. But right. I think you're, everybody is better off really pushing the limit, seeing how far you can take it and see how complex. And if you have some, if you have an idea in your head, go for it, like make it, it's, you just got to keep going. You will get there. So absolutely. It's patience. Man, I don't know if you have been reading chat, but you answered somebody's question without even having the question asked to you. So we had somebody <laughs> ask, do you, uh, what do you think about new breeders coming into a market that's flooded with morphs? And that, <laughs> that was yeah. the perfect answer right there. <laughs> yeah. I, I really think that I, I think, look, pick a project picks, pick a few things. Not everybody can work with 300 animals. You have to understand that. Like lots of guys can only have 30 animals. Let's say pick a project that you really like, maybe two projects. And I would lean towards the double recessive side of things and really develop your collection around those projects. And it's, and then once you start to make them, it becomes a lot easier to plug new genes into them. Yes. The hardest part of double recessive project is making the first one. A hundred percent. It starts to become a little bit easier and easier and easier. Odds every different. year, every year gets easier at that point. Yeah, if you once you make the mail, it's like okay, this is going to start to really, really yep. gain some steam. Yeah, totally. So yeah. I mean, I, I think there's a, I think there's a, still a ton of uh, like people say, oh, it's, it's dead. I've heard that every single year. Yeah, still, I still see people producing crazy stuff and people spending big money on crazy stuff. Yeah. And you don't have to be the guy selling the big money stuff. You don't have to be the guy selling the little money. You can be put yourself in the market wherever your finances allow you to and just ha enjoy doing it. And, and at the end of the day, you know, this, I don't think anybody should come into this thinking like, you know, I'm going to make a living doing this. You could, but I think everybody should come into this. Like, like I just like working with these animals. I like making new things. I like doing all that sort of stuff. And it happens organically. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. That's the the most important part. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Because then you also know, you don't get burned out. You don't get burned out doing that. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Big time. Big time. I, I hear the question all the time. Like, Oh, you do this for the money. And like, I hear that people say that to other people. I'm like, yeah, but so do hockey players play hockey for the money. Like they're just good at it. But right. they get a lot of money doing it. Like, look, at that the doesn't end, mean you don't like it. You, you cannot, breed ball pythons for the money you like you you cannot <laughs> do it because it takes so long to develop these projects and do your thing and eventually you're like holy shit this is taking way longer than i thought it was going to be till i'm seeing stuff come back and and again if you don't like doing it and you don't really enjoy it your your customer service is going to suffer when people start asking you questions about projects you're just going to brush them off because you don't really want to talk about the stuff you have to be passionate about it and you have to like doing it. That's, yeah. and I think that is true in every aspect of life. Yeah. You know, if, if you don't like doing something, you're not going to do it well as a yeah. general rule. Yeah, definitely. And there's no rush, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you were saying, let it, let it happen organically. Cause that's the, probably, you know, the number one reason I see people kind of getting out of this is, you know, they went out and bought, uh, you know, a hundred single gene female breeders from somebody that was just offloading stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, they start having clutches and they're like, well, you know, why aren't my clutches awesome? Why is nobody just flocking to me to buy stuff? Oh, this sucks. Right. It's like, whoa, well, you know, you kind of went about it a wrong way. You just bought quantity, right. You didn't really pick what you like. Now we're afforded that option. Whereas eight, 10, 12 years ago, guys were super stoked to produce a super passed out. Like that yeah. was amazing. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And it's crazy. So. It's crazy how far it's come. So if you think now guys were excited eight years ago to produce a super passed out, what are you going to be excited to produce in eight years? Right. Yeah. Like, triple recessive. Nuts. Like crazy. Like triple recessive. Yeah. Triple recessive codoms. Yeah. Like nuts. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, and, I, and that's what really excites me is like, let's, yeah. you know, let's make something new. Yeah, totally. I don't have to be the first one to do it. I don't like. Generally, I'm not going to be. Maybe a couple things that I do, 
but I don't, I don't have to be the first person to do it. I just want to do it my way. Right. You know? The projects yeah. that I, the vision that I have in my head, I'll tell you an example. I, I did a, about seven years ago, I started to work. I, I, I thought I saw super phantoms that Ralph Davis had made. And I was like, holy smokes. And I saw lavender albinos. And I was like, wow. I was like, I got to get those two together. Super phantom lavender albinos. Right. Like, That's going to be so cool. It's going to be like a purple snake with a yellow line. What I, what it's in my head. Right. And I started working on that years ago. And I'm still trying to make a super phantom lavender. No way. I have not hit one. We, <laughs> I've hit phantom labs. I've hit super fan hat labs. I've hit everything you could possibly hit except a super phantom lab. But, <laughs> but so, and, and, and I have guys asking me like, oh, why don't you just like give up on that and, you know, put blackhead into it or something like that. I'm like, like no, I've come this far. I got to make it. Yeah, Dude, yeah. Right now you can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I don't, I don't care. Yeah. And now I'm at the point where I've got like phantom lavender males and super phantom het lavender females. Yes, I do. So I'm like, okay, if I miss on it here, like, oh man. <laughs> My yeah, luck. That's dude. a rough one, dude. That's yeah, rough. the odd gods hate you no matter yeah. when you should just <laughs> give up. That project, man. If you miss that. You should just send me all your snakes if that happens. Just yeah, do that. Because, <laughs> that's why, because I'll probably jump anyway. So <laughs> yeah, just put us in the will. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, it's, it's... Hey, so if you had to pick a, a single gene right now, what would be your favorite? We had that question roll through earlier. Yeah, and it kind of does recessive or codon count? Like yeah, yeah either one. They didn't spell recessive but... single. Res... What's that? You want to consider recessive a single like a single gene? I yeah. guess it's like a the base yeah. one. It's it's, yeah. Of the base. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I'm going to pick a single gene that's my personal favorite, I'm going to go with probably clown. Clown. Um, most people are probably going to say, why didn't you say puzzle? Um, because it hasn't proven itself yet. It's going to. I really believe that it's going to. But as of right now, I think the clown is one of those snakes, clown and pied, really. Yeah. Uh, you look at them and it's like, wow. Especially Every time. Every time. Yeah. Pies are just like the showstopper at every single show. Someone who doesn't see snakes ever come to a table, they're like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, 100%. Right. So pies just Everyone it. loves pies. Everybody. Yeah. And then I personally really like clowns. I love the, the striping, the variety that we're getting in them. As far as a straight, single, co-dominant gene, oh, man, that's a tough question. Ah, man, I'm going to probably go with vanilla. Ooh. Like yeah. It. I really like vanilla stuff. I like it's like it's a softer version of a fire. It is. And I'm just really excited about the vanilla future stuff that I'm working on with vanilla. Uh, I think it's a lot, of, a lot of the times what ends up happening, and I've run into this situation, is everybody wants fire and everything. Fire is like a – it's a wicked gene. Don't get me wrong. I love fire. I work with it yeah, a lot. Me too. Wicked gene. But all of a sudden, you get it into your, your females. And so, you have, let's say you have firefly het clown. And your male is an OD fire clown. Then you so get white snakes. You, know, you start to put those back together. You do run into white snakes. And mm -hmm. is it a clown? Is it not a clown? Is it an OD super fire clown? Because that's a pretty good snake. But I can't tell. Right? So with vanilla – if you have it in each parent, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Super vanillas are awesome. So when you go yeah. back to, you start to make awesome. super vanilla OD clowns, and that's going to be wicked. Yeah. yeah. What I do like you think that. of disco? Yeah. Disco. Uh, I think it's – I. what is – is the super disco I, – I don't know. Like, I've seen it, but I don't know much about it. I, I You know, know, I always likened it to uh, to vanilla kind of right. in so that. Is the super disco a uh, super vanilla-looking animal, or is it a leucistic kind of. No, no, no. It's not leucistic from okay. what I know. Okay, yeah. so then it's more, it'd be more on the vanilla side of things. Vanilla side, right. Okay, yeah. then, I, then I love it. Yeah. I don't know that much about it. I've, I've seen <laughs> disco fires, disco creams, I guess. And yeah, disco creams, yeah. You throw a, like, fairly large ringers, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. the disco, right, exactly. It, yeah. It'll have some ringers in there and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I just pulled it up on Morph Market. The day it was the guy on there with the disco fire clown, and a whole back of it's like a pied. And really? 
front it looks like uh it almost looks like a vanilla the screams like the fire vanillas yeah it's a I really different like those, fire. I really like those combo too and i think there's a lot of stuff that people are just giving up on mm -hmm. and i think if any if, if you guys i'm sure everybody in the chat both of you guys follow watch justin's videos follow all the stuff he does he yeah. makes something from stuff people have forgotten about because it's it's everybody like every, the ball python industry is very like flavor of the week everyone's like yeah. oh this is new i want this this is new i want this let's make combos with this but then no one really fleshed out the old project no one really like developed it they just made a handful of generic combos and said ah didn't do anything let's go on to the next one right but, for example now, you, oh, go ahead i was gonna say do you think that was because when you remember like probably like six years ago, there was this race for incomplete dominant genes. And I mean, oh, there were so many coming out, right? And it was how many you could stack on stuff. Like, yep. you know, and I think like so much got left behind, like you said, because everybody's racing. And now Justin's kind of looking back at some of that stuff being like, well, hey, what if we took that animal and plugged it into this? Nobody did that. Or at least we right. never saw it, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, like I love Justin's stuff. That that chocolate spot nose clown is like next level. Like I, yeah. it doesn't even look like a clown. It's I love that animal, and real realistically, people could have made that like five six years ago. Oh, easily, easily. You know what I mean, like that's not like like the, the genes that are in it. It just the combo itself is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Nobody had the vision to do that. That's how I feel about the Clown Pie project. Why are there not Clown Pies everywhere? That's the same way I feel about every Desert Ghost project. Everyone yeah. that talks about Desert Ghost, I'm like, dude, these guys have been around for like 15 years. Right. Yeah. Like the base of everyone's collection. Right. Yeah. Right. Even better. Like, how does it not? Like, I want like my racks. If I have an OD fire, I want it to be an OD fire DG. Yeah. I just like, make it like, like the, 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 uh, I don't even know the word. Like your base level breeding stock for for breeding. Yeah, like everything's got it because it's so good. Yeah. yeah, I love that gene. It's just and and it ages well. And you know, I mean, you take a look at a pastel adult and a pastel desert ghost adult. It's night and day. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's what got you and I talking, man. Was the desert ghost gene? And yeah. actually, you want to <laughs> recount that story? You want to rec you want to tell the story? The, the <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'll tell it. Yeah. All right. You tell it. You tell it. I want to hear it from your, your perspective. Though. All right. So uh, Adam and I have been talking through Facebook Messenger. And uh, and so we've been talking about some of the projects I was working on and some of the stuff he was doing. And we had like a, a full-blown like conversation for over like a month. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, he was messaging Royal Canadian Reptiles. On, on Instagram. Instagram. He didn't put the uh, name on so he's messaging Royal Canadian Reptiles, and we're talking about these projects. But we're talking about like, the same projects each in each conversation. <laughs> he goes to the Royal Canadian Reptiles guy. He goes, "Man, like you should check out Will Moreau's in Canada. Like he's working on a lot of the same stuff you are." <laughs> yeah, man, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I was at work and I died laughing. People at work were like, "What are you? Laughing about? I can't explain it. It's just too good." <laughs> I almost threw my phone. Like when he was like, "This is <laughs> just... yeah, no shit, dude." Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, yeah, bro, that's me." Like, <laughs> and I, the thing is, like, I knew it was you on both things. On both <laughs> right? I knew. I was like, "Oh, that's soon. you want to start one day?" He's like, <laughs> talking shit about Royal Canadian reptiles to to Will. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, man. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. No, it was funny. Uh, it was really funny. I was laughing so hard at that. And, you know, and you were so nice about it too. Just like it was just it was done. It was over. It was, you know, and I would have been a little more ruthless than you. I'd have been like, dude. <laughs> Come on now. Oh man, it was just so funny. It was uh man. That one is of, funny, man. Honestly, one of the funniest moments in my snake keeping career. <laughs> yeah. To be totally honest, actually one of the funniest things that happened. I'm uh, happy to provide that for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did a service, Adam. You did a service. Yeah. Dude, for sure. But, yeah. you know, that's honestly like Will and I started talking just because uh, I agree with him. I want everything to be Desert Ghost. You know, everything yeah. I've got, Desert Ghost. You know yeah. what I mean? 
Yeah. And, yeah that's, uh, that's the same with me. I want, I want, I, when I first was getting into this a couple years ago, I wanted my baseline to all be clowns. Like I wanted all my females to be clowns at some point. Yeah. And now it's like, I want everybody to be desert or ghost. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll move towards, you know, the other directions. Yep. Definitely. Absolutely. I think desert ghost enhancer would it, call it whatever you want. I pers I personally feel like the same gene. Oh, you're Different bringing that up. <laughs> I think it's, it's all muddied up. Well, I hear it, especially up here, it's much more prominent conversation. Talking to people in Pomona, they're like, what? That's Desert Ghost. But up here, you, if I say this is an enhancer or this is a Desert Ghost, people take their pitchforks out and chase right. me down. But yeah. you know, that's just sort of how, how I'm feeling about the project. I have both, both genes, if it's a different gene, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I, I want that to be the baseline of everything. Yeah, I think I really think you know take every, like so Joel, you wanted everything in your collection to be clown. Imagine yeah, everything was like DG clown. Yeah, yeah. Like man, I I look at the Desert Ghost project and I go, okay, I can just go to I can go to World of Ball Pythons and scroll for an hour through different clown combos, and just be like, I can do all of this all over again. All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. There, I can do all over again and make it better. Totally new project. Yeah, yeah. and it's you better, know? and it's way better. Yeah, like yeah. I, it's it's crazy. I, that's how I feel about the Desert Ghost stuff. Into Pied, into Puzzle, into Tri Stripe, into uh, everything. Dude, everything. Sunset, Sunset DGs. Oh, that's gonna be nice, man. Oh, that's yeah, one I think so. I've had a couple of guys ask me like, "Hey, what would you do with the Sunset?" I'm not working with it. I was like, "Yo, Desert Ghost." Absolutely, dude. Sunset DG oh, is going nice. to be insane. So yeah. like, insane. If any of you guys are working with Sunset, like someone just do it. It's going to be. I, I think I think it'll probably be done the next year. Visuals? Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you oh, think so? I think, I think somebody probably has them already. Souls over here with like. Yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not me. I have the hip pides. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, if somebody's got them, I I really hope they hit it because I think that I feel is like somebody has to have them. A lights out combo. Because Brock had Ghost or Hypo. Yes, he did the. Yeah, he did. You know, I feel like somebody did did DG in there, but I don't know. I hope, I hope so. That gene gets overlooked so much. That's the only yeah. thing I think. Maybe I don't know. You know, maybe it's not been done. Has anyone done some that tri stripes? No. No. Oh like, heck, no. that won't be done. That won't be done for a long time. The way I feel like tri stripes overlooked. Yeah, I, I mean, I hope I can change that. I'm not the only guy working with it. I really barely have any. But right. I seriously look at it like a I, – I personally think it could compete with Clown. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I really do. I think um, most people – so to be honest with you, Clown in the beginning got overlooked, got, got bypassed because people made pastel clowns, pastel le – or lesser clowns, pastel lesser clowns. And while they're nice as babies and stuff, as they grow, they're just, eh. You know, yeah. pastel clowns are not the greatest looking adults. We can all be yeah. all agree. Yeah. And I think the clowns sort of just got, like, pushed to the side. And then all of a sudden, the people who decided to stick with it really started to develop the clowns and started to go, like, holy smokes, when I add fire in the mix, just pops. Yeah. But can you guys name five different tri-stripe combos? <laughs> nope. Yeah. It'd be hard-pressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? People just yeah. make tri stripes. Like I've seen lavender tries, hypo tries. I bought the banana try. I've seen the fire tri stripe, and I've seen pastel tri stripe. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a maybe a lesser tri stripe. But like guys, there's like I think like it's not tri different no. codom genes. Yeah. So you know, I look the D stripe. If I want to see what tri stripe's gonna do, I go look and see what they're doing in Europe right. with D, D stripe because I think they're the same. Yeah. Mm. Quite possibly. Have they um? Have they put any uh, pattern changing stuff into the D stripe? Leopards, nose, well, anything uh, like that? I've seen Mojave. Uh, he did Mojave, okay. which is kind of, I mean, it's kind of yeah. a pattern change, you know? Ways. Yeah. 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 Um, and that one was, it didn't, it still kept the traditional tri stripe look, but um, did kind of what Lesser does to some things where it, kind of muted the tones of yeah. the brown and stuff you know yeah i know exactly what you're talking about yeah yeah um but i haven't seen it with any really strong pattern influence or mixed together yeah right that's and that's what i'm that's where i'm 
that's the when I look at the tri stripe, that's the direction I want to go. I want an Enchi and I want like super brighteners. Like not just fire. Like I want like O D yellow belly Enchi vanilla tri stripe. Like yeah. have all those jeans at play when you go to make them. Yeah. And, and I, I know a lot of people are super hesitant on head to head. I love it. I love head to head. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Because head to head, head is great for me. You, you can have it is so much easier. So most of the puzzle stuff that I'll be making over the next couple of years, I'm going for like the big the big shots. So I'm doing like three, four gene to two or three gene, put them together and when you hit on the puzzle, that combo, it's going to be a two or three gene, maybe four gene combo. Right, right. right? It's so hard to do that with, like, you have to have a four or five gene puzzle female that's a breeder size right now. That's like, right. Who has that? Who does? Yeah. yeah who has that? And the same with TriStripe. So to really push those, these projects further, people have got to start doing more head to head stuff. I know people yeah. are so skeptical. Oh, it's 66% head. Like, Dude, sixty six percent hat. I love it's that. More likely hat than not. Yeah, Joel's I'll referencing I'll his hat. Nails all day long. Yeah, all day. You're long. referencing your uh, ringer over there, aren't you, Joel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not sixty six percent. I'll take, I'll take That's that sixty six hat clown every day, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I bet. I bet. Oh, man. Your hat pied. Yeah. Well, you know, you're you're for sure right, man. I mean, it, there's a like this recipe that all, all breeders talk about, right? And if you're not doing visual to hat, then you're going to create 66%, you know, hat offspring, which is waste. And it's like, well, hold on, hold on. You know, if you're taking that leap to advance something, hat to hat's worth it. Like, don't be afraid of it just because you heard on some YouTube channel or right. read it someplace that it's not I'm the most optimal way, you know? Hundred percent. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not speaking for Justin. I don't know this to be fact, but I'd be willing to bet that a lot of the stuff that really got him started was in head to head pairings. Yeah, right. hitting that, that combo that you're after, and once you have it, now all of a sudden you got a four or five gene clown male. Now I can go into other stuff and start to make real crazy hundred percent head. Yeah, it's an ex exponential yeah. jump. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, but once you get it, then it just goes. Yeah, and that's that's sort of like my all my breeding. I was talking to somebody today on uh, on Instant Messenger for Instagram, uh, yeah. Morph Mixology, and he was asking the question about what did I think about taking a hundred percent het male and breeding that to you know a codom female, and then just getting pos heads and keeping the females and then rebreeding the male. And I was like, dude, I think that's a great idea um, because one of those females is guaranteed to prove out. Like there's, there's no doubt. And, and, and you're getting in at the price of a visual or a non-visual het male. Yeah. Um, and then, and in the few, dude, if you had three or four females that came out of that, I bet half would actually prove. And then you've, you've just exponentially grown, you know, if you put the time in, you know, so easily. I, I can tell you that I'm, I'm still doing that kind of stuff. Right. Breeding het males to other stuff. So I just recently bought some het monsoons. And I bought a 1.1, maybe a 1.2. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, so I'm going to take my male 100% hat and breed him. They're, they're both 28. They're all 2018s. Right. Take my male, breed him into, you know, stuff that's not like crazy. It doesn't have to be. It's such a new gene. Like orange right. dream, orange dream, yellow belly, maybe a red stripe combo, maybe spot nose, leopard, that kind of stuff. Right. Make, make a bunch of hats. Keep every single female everyone i will not let one go right because i don't know i don't know if they're header i don't know if they're not right I, no one's going to pay me the price for it twenty five hundred dollars for a leopard pos head sunset or nope. sun, on either yeah yeah right but or either one yeah. but if it proved they just got the greatest deal of all time yeah so i just i just keep everything i have no problem keeping females and so this is 2019, 2020 breeding season. This is my, my, my plan. I'll show you how I plan things out. Right. I buy my, buy my original hats. I start growing up the, the females that I bought. It, before them, the male's breeding, making a bunch of pos hats. Those females that I start to make that are pos hats are growing up. 
the females have an extra year. The female, the original females are an extra year ahead of them. Mm -hmm. I hope to take that original het male, breed it back to the original het females, and produce a visual male sunset. Uh, monsoon. Sunset. Monsoon. I hope to produce a visual male monsoon. I then take the monsoon male and run back to all of those pos hats. You will know if you proved it out. Yep. Pretty much. I, I, I can say enough for myself that I would, if I didn't hit a monsoon on a visual to hat, I could safely say I'd write it off. Right, yeah. right. I could still get unlucky. I've, I've definitely had that before, where right. I know it's visual to hat and I didn't get any visuals. But anyway, so that's how I, I'm doing it. Like, I mean, to anybody who wants to be in the monsoon project, you can get into it for not crazy money. Like, you can get into a really high end project by just buying a het mail. Yeah, absolutely. And people think I'm crazy. I'm like, guys, look at your rack. You've got pastels, lessers, fireflies, enchies, all that sort of stuff. Put them to all that kind of stuff. Keep yeah. all the girls back. Do the generational thing, raise them up. Breed them back together, and you're going to hit them. You're going to have – if you keep 10, 50% should theoretically be hats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then one out of every four, let's say, if of that clutch from those 50% are going to be visuals. Yeah. You're going you're to have an army on your first year of reading. That's what I mean. Visuals. Yeah. But people don't, people don't look at that. I don't think they really, they really look at that sort of stuff. They don't think, you, think that way. Yeah. But – I mean, yeah. I mean, if you want to buy the visual monsoon, all the power to you. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If your bank account can support it, then, yeah. you know, right on, man. Like, but go I'd for it. A lot more people could support a het male than, right. than any, well, obviously, than, yeah. Right. Than the other way. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I guess that kind of segues into uh, where, where do you really see the market maybe in the next? four or five years you know what do you what do you think will be the maybe predominant thing that everybody's either super producing or what do you think that maybe is underpriced that will be up to price in four or five years something like that i have no idea yeah i really have no clue yeah i wish i, hard, wish I did start hard. producing a lot of them now right right, yeah, right but again i think it comes down to uh i think you can I don't think there's a bad project. I don't think there's a single bad project. I think if you like a project, take it and prove to everybody else that it can do something. Uh -huh. You know, if you, if you can take my word that I think Puzzle is going to do wicked stuff. You can take my word for it. But a lot of people are skeptical. Oh, you know, even in base form Puzzle, it's like, well, it's not. It's visual. But it's not like, like clown, right? right. Right. Like, okay, that's obviously a class. but i can tell you in my experience and hatching puzzle stuff and seeing as they grow and seeing what the hats are doing that it's going to do some really cool stuff Ooh, and absolutely I, I think you just need to pick a pick a project that you really like and prove to everybody else that you can change it justin is making clowns that do not look like clowns that's Ooh. impressive yep exactly whole different avenue of stuff to go after right and, and i think that's where the market's going i think it's way leaning way way more towards boutique smaller breeders doing quality really like quality higher end animals yep over like the guys mass producing you know hobbies 300 clutches a year it's like guys yeah. like, you know and and, and those guys I've seen it before. They run into money issues, flood the market. And it, the, the ball python market is always like sort of like this. There's a huge swing of buyers and then a bit of a lull. Yeah, because everybody's not. It's like, oh, it's crashing. No one's buying. No one's buying. And then they dump prices, dump prices, dump prices, dump prices. But then all it takes, like, I see it with clowns. So clowns is a wicked example because you can buy a $300 clown. And you can buy a fifteen thousand dollar clown. There is everything in between. Mm -hmm. it just depends how crazy you want to get. And at the end of the day, I mean, the way I the way I look at things is, people say, "Oh, that 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 project's crashing," but then just make it more complicated, right? So no one else can do it. 
Right. You know, it, you're saying like, oh, puzzles are crashing. Okay, here's an orange dream, yellow belly, fire, spot nose puzzle. Right. right. You know, like, okay, that's yeah. not crashing, you know? And it's cool. Oh. That's the way I look at things. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good response to that. We're just watching chat right now. We had a few people join. Yeah. Um, Saying hi, saying yeah. what's up, five one four in the house. Thank you. Oh, Khalil, what's up, brother? He's just coming yeah. over this weekend. <laughs> I got some yeah. Canadians on this channel, eh? Yeah, yeah. we got yeah. KB on here too. I'm surprised these guys hear me hear enough out of me up here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse's here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jamie's here too. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, some good, good people in chat. You know, and that's a good way of looking at it, dude. Is <clears throat> Yeah, you hear that ever since I got into this hobby, I've heard that it's failing, get out, you know, sell all your snakes. <laughs> it's like, and if that was why I was into it, well, shoot, I would have, I would have thought about something else, you know, as yeah. was talking to one of my, my friends who's also in the hobby, um, I'll leave him unnamed at this point. But when he started investing heavily in ball pythons, he took a spreadsheet and he took the money that he invested in ball pythons and put it into an Amazon stock, right? Like, so, and he, you know, on this spreadsheet watched what would happen with that initial investment into Amazon. And it was over a million dollars at yeah. today's point, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but to what we were talking about was that we don't do this to be millionaires. Obviously, we we like what we're doing, the camaraderie, right? Like, dude, well, you're all the way up in Canada. There would have never been a million years that you and I would have interacted with each other and got to oh, know each not. other yeah. if it wasn't for this, right? Like Absolutely. super, super small chance. And to me, that's amazing, right? And yeah. then having a hobby that can also support itself you know, help pay for food costs and different things like that. And food, I mean, this is amazing, right? We should all be fostering this, trying to help each other out. Don't be, oh, this project's crap. Get out. Don't worry. You know, like you have to look at things from an investment sometime, but it's not always about that. If you really love the animal, do it and do it better than anybody else. Yeah. I, I, I don't see anything wrong with making yeah. money doing this. If you can, exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, if you can make money doing what you like, like, is that not like the, the dream? Yeah. The dream. So you're doing like, yeah, you're living. That's like, that's like what you like doing and you're making money doing it. Right? Yeah. I'm cool with that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm cool with that. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I hate that idea of being ashamed for making money. Right. I don't, I don't yeah. like that. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. You guys, the guys in the MLB are ashamed for yeah. Being good at baseball? Yeah. Exactly. No. Exactly. Yeah. No, like I, I don't know. Like some guys, I, I think that the market has not, like a lot of people look back and they go like, oh my God, back in the day, super pastels were 20 grand and you could produce 10 and they'd be all gone. And you make right. 200 grand on making super pastels. Like that is the kind of stuff that people, that, that people look back at and they go right. like, oh, rich doing this. The market has gone past that. Like, right. like, actually, this is Khalil just said. LCD TVs were 50k at launch, and now I can get one on 200 bucks. Yeah, you can get one sent to you probably tomorrow from Amazon. Exactly. Yeah. Like from, from my phone, just yeah. like you know, like I just bought a TV. Like yeah. it's <laughs> yeah, exactly. And nobody would be like, "Oh, crazy, dude." Yeah. yeah. People are like, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Like, Wait, you got those in Canada? Yeah. 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 Yeah, but you had to take it. It's still 10K. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. like no, like, I might have spent 10K. It better look wicked. Yeah. Or, or be a stepping stone to something I think is going to look wicked. Yeah. Yep. So, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. I like, well, that. like Cleo was saying, we still don't have LCDs in Canada. 
<laughs> we're still well, on now you know, you know some guys in the state so we, we got you man don't worry yeah we'll, we can get that figured out <laughs> send uh, over those those yeah. desert ghost clowns yeah i mean shit it's just a snake right yeah yeah we can get you tvs man <laughs> I'm, down. I'm down then i can watch youtube on tv yeah i'm, a, I'm at the library right now yeah <laughs> 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 the free internet, the public, the public internet. <laughs> dude, that's dude, the dedication you have. Wow, they, we're honored now. You guys yeah. have something coming, right? Yeah, I had to walk both uphill both ways in snow. I'm sure that's amazing. Well, duh. <laughs> duh. <laughs> All right, so you always ask this question: uh, What's the what's a sleeper gene? What do you think is a good sleeper gene? I know I ask it, but I don't know. Yeah, well, you had to know it's coming for you then. <laughs> tri stripe. Tri stripe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we had talked about that earlier. Other than tri stripe, uh, I'm working with the extreme stuff. So uh, everybody should go out and be buying extremes right now, guys. Like, it's the next big thing. Everybody. <laughs> and guess what? I got like 30 of them available right now. Like, no, <laughs> I actually don't have any available. But I extreme stuff's been really cool. Uh, I know Ken made it like the extremist. Weird name to pick, but um, anyway, so he's yeah. so fun. that's the super, right? What's that? Is, the is that the super? The extremist? Oh, so the extreme had the super extreme. Okay. And there was the extremist and super extremist. And it basically, he's, and I don't understand how he's done that, but he's, it's very similar to OD and uh, high intensity OD. Okay. Where it's been line bred so many times that the, just the single genes are coming out better. Okay. I got so like, I really what is extreme? So it's a it's a really brightening gene. This it, it does a lot of striping. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I actually just posted a picture on my Instagram. It's a uh, it's a butter spider extreme, and it's managed to completely stripe a spider, wow. which I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, it's really cool. Like really, really cool. I was trying to show everybody. Actually, I wonder if this is gonna work. Well, we can try. If it doesn't, then we won't do it again. You guys see that? Yeah, keep talking. Yeah. So that is a butter spider extreme. And it's just fully striped out a spider. Yeah. And it, it's just, I, I really like it. It has a cool super form. It's got, uh, I don't know. I think it's just really fun. Yeah. And that's... a lot of people have been linking a weird that it went from tri-stripe to extreme. A lot of people thought that the super extreme was a tri stripe. Okay. So yeah, Sub Zero I'm, just posted again. He was saying the super extremist GHI that Ken posted is insane. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, they're cool. I think they're really cool. I think there's a ton of stuff that's totally, totally forgotten about. And I, I like that Justin sort of brings it back. You know, yeah. I, I, I to be totally, I went to a breeder's place, maybe eight years ago and i'm not going to name who it was because he's probably super embarrassed about it now and i said to him i was like do you work with spot nose and no i only work with gene that actually do something ah, yeah <laughs> say that again <Right>. today <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like whoa so it just goes to show guys, like i think there, i don't think there is a bad gene i think pick one underrated I, I don't. Yeah, pick one and go with it, man. Yeah. Well, okay, then uh, having said that, I guess that kind of goes into that um, question about, you know, you're gifted $3,500 just starting out. What do you do with it? And then let's say you have $3,500 now, where would you take that? Ooh, this 30, is, awesome. this is uh, you know, infrastructure, everything. You know, how would you make your own? Would you buy starting, PC? Starting from scratch? Starting from scratch. Starting from scratch. Yeah. Starting from scratch. Is this yeah. US million dollars. This is US. US. Real money. Okay. So that's like now, 10 million money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. 3500 3, US. We could do a lot in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh so I would 35 I would definitely uh I would look on the forums for pre-made racks. Uh -huh. Pre someone who's who's getting out Got you know six seven tub rack and maybe like a twenty tub hatchling rack kind of thing. I'd look for something like that. Let's say that's five hundred bucks. 
Right. That's um, yeah. I feel like that's rough. Yeah. Five hundred bucks. You go pick it up. You take all the work. You clean it out all yourself. Everything. So I've got three grand left over. Oh man, I would spend three thousand dollars on something that you really like. And I know that's crazy. Like, of course, I would do a month's worth of homework. Understand the genetics. Look on Morph Market. Understand how things work together. And and I, I per, me personally, I'd probably buy a. I don't know how many hat puzzles I could get for thirty five hundred bucks. <laughs> well, yeah, you could get quite a few. I mean, depending on what they were, three or four at least. At least, yeah. Like single jeans. I might buy like twenty five hundred bucks. No, I can't because I gotta spend money on the mail. Shoot. Can I spend money later on? Yes, actually, that's fair because you could plan ahead to buy your mail in a year. You know, I, I, I'd probably buy a bunch of, I you know what, I'd buy a bunch of double jean codom girls. Look, obviously, if I could find them, hat for clown, hat for pie, hat for puzzle, hat yeah. for lavender, whatever I could find them for. And you can find het lavender females for not a lot of money, guys. And yeah. they're powerful snakes. Lavender's going to do some cool stuff still. People have, again, forgotten about that. Pick up het labs, pick up het pies, pick up all that sort of stuff. And, and, and just start growing them up and starting from scratch, learning how to keep them. Learning how that, that they go off of feed. Learning that they, they don't all grow the same. Some grow crazy. Some suck at eating. Some have bad sheds. Some have, you yeah. know... Learn how to keep them properly. I see guys coming in who have kept one snake their whole life and they're dropping 150K. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, you know, like stuff does die. Yeah. It, it does happen. And you have that many animals all of a sudden. You don't have any quarantine practices. You haven't learned, you know, oh, this snake's wheezing a little bit. I think I should probably separate it from the collection. Yeah. There's, there's stuff that goes on that people. I think there's a whole portion of stuff that happens that people are like, oh my God, if you talk about that, like it's so taboo, like don't say snakes die. Right. They do. They're a living animal. They're living animals. You know, you hatch 200 babies. I guarantee you, you're going to lose some. I guarantee it. I don't think there's anybody here that's hatched 200 baby snakes in one season and not lost one. Yeah, Very true. absolutely. They just have, they just do. But yeah. people... If you say it, like, I'm, I'm, people are going to be like, oh, my God, he has dying snakes everywhere. But <laughs> stuff dies. It, it's, 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 it's one of those things. But I think that's a topic in the industry that if you talk about, no chance. You can't say that. Yeah. Right. People will run away. Yeah. Yeah, very true. I mean, I, I had a, you know, one of, so I had a snake die on me, just up and die one day. She, she ate. Three days later, regurged and died within 30 minutes of regurgitating. I took her to the vet, had a necropsy done, and nothing came back, you know, bacteria or viral. So, okay, that's good for my collection. She did come back with an enlarged heart, but they couldn't tell if that was pre or post. And basically the vet goes, I don't know, maybe she had a heart attack. I mean, right. literally, right? right? You say that because I've actually heard of people. I had, I actually had a snake last season, about 150 grams. Eight, and it had gotten to a point where I was like, I was like, okay, give it a give it a rat, ate the rat, and I drop rats in all the bins in the ARS racks and go uh -huh. through all and everything, and then I come back once I've gone through everything, and then I come back and I check, and I start checking, 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 checking. I get to her bin, and she's dead, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, what the hell just happened? She had the rat in her stomach. She ate it, but I personally think. They can, if they grab the rat weird and they constrict on the rat, they can like cause themselves to have a heart attack. Right. Like, and I think that's what she did. Her heart felt like a marble inside of her. Right. And it was just like a blue heart. And I was like, what is going on? I had no idea. Talked to my dad. He's like, I wouldn't be too concerned. He's like, it's, you know, it's one of those things. Right. Right. And it, again, if we go to, uh, Human hospital, obviously hospital. Uh, okay. If you go to a hospital and you go and you watch two hundred births, and you you go to the birthing unit and you see two hundred kids being born, you're gonna have complications with some. It's yeah. just biology, guys. It's like yeah. 
It sucks. Statistic. Yep. It sucks. Nobody wants to talk about it. But I mean, guys, it's 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 like a real thing. Yeah. Anyways, wow, that went off. Uh, Thirty five hundred <laughs> yeah. bucks. A bunch of half females. Uh, some racks and <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Thirty five hundred bucks now. Uh, I don't know. I'd buy like. Uh, I don't know, like a. Would you buy a single jean? Would you buy a single snake or maybe two? I'd try to get my hands on like a fire yellow belly clown het pied male, but uh, it's tough to find, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who has that. Anybody know I somebody? Know. I have a boss hat. I have a one. I have a I'm, boss not hat. I'm not interested in boss hats though, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone didn't catch that, Joel has one that's a hundred percent hat. Yeah, but he keeps calling it a pos hat because the breeding, it's not proven yet. Totally get why he's doing it. You know? yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to come out there and claim it, you know. But, but if the ringer didn't make it a pied initially, I mean, this thing's hat pie. <laughs> yeah. If it looks like yeah. a duck and it sounds like a duck, it's probably a duck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Uh, yeah, that's I think, good. Okay. I think yeah. that's what I do with 3500 bucks then and now. Yeah. I'd, I'd look for a single, one single, to be totally honest, one single female that plugs into my projects really well. I don't right. think you can pay for a snake like that, by the way. I agree with what uh, Justin was saying. If, if, if you have, you're working towards a specific goal and you can find a snake that really advances where you want to be and puts you in a position that you really, like, that, that really advances that project that you're working on, I don't think you can overpay for that snake. Yeah. Like if you told me like, hey, I am looking for a chocolate enchi blackhead orange dream clown. And all of a sudden one popped up on the market. Yeah. That's yours, man. You can't <laughs> yeah, yeah. for it, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> that's how I anyway, that's how I feel about that. Yeah. 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 And so when you pick out a female, are you picking out for her next season or two seasons, three seasons ahead? I mean, how, how are you planning that? Are you planning on her producing the snake that's going to matter that you need maybe next season or, you know, they're on? So when I'm picking out like a female. Yeah, like, a, like a, that level, like a $3,500 female. I mean, that's a substantial animal. You know, is that a, is that a right now? I mean, and I guess let's say it's a hatchling. I'm talking about their first season, you know. Okay, yeah. So their yeah. first season, like, uh, well, I don't. I always, when I hold back stuff and when I buy stuff, I always ask myself a question, uh, is this snake going to be cool in three years? Right. Is this going to be what I want still in three years? Right. And that changes every single year. Right. But, uh, but I think that you should, yeah. So for that $3,500 snake, I, I look at it and I go like, okay, so let's say it's a, Firefly spot nose enchi hep puzzle. Uh -huh. That for thirty five hundred bucks, I yeah. can't. I, I gotta yeah. have. It. I'll yeah. buy that, and it is powerful for me. Not just the first year, the second year, the third year, because a lot of people think. So I, I see a lot of guys being like, "Oh, I don't want het clowns anymore." Right. I mean, yeah, I get that. They're not really advancing anything. But you don't want het clowns because you're not working on other clown stuff. Right. What I, what I mean is if you have a clown pied male, to a het clown is a good pairing. That's a great pairing. Yeah. You know what that's I mean? A great pairing. Yeah. You got a desert ghost clown male. I'm like, yo, that's, yeah, I'll put it to a het clown. I mean, right. clowns that are 100% het desert ghost, females, yeah, put them in the rack, forget them, raise right. them up. And then eventually it, it all starts to work out for you. Yeah. You can just, you know, like a firefly hound, hatchling. Most people wouldn't hold that back anymore. Right. And I'm still like, yeah, like I still want to keep that. I, I have this like, like comp, like this issue about keeping females. Right. I have an, more of an issue about selling females. Right. I'm always, like, you know, like, hey, like I, I want to buy that female. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I always had that internal fight with myself. Like, yeah. Will, do you seriously need to keep another one? Like, <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're building a snake facility right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? 
<laughs> it's no, called Cody. wording. <laughs> yeah, I know, Cody. It's hard. It's hard. He actually, Khalil managed to pull a visual fire clown female away from me. So that was impressive on his end. <laughs> Very nice. Nicely done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had a tough time letting that go. But, yeah. so yeah, I mean, that's, I, I, I think that holding, like, if a snake works for your plans, you can't overpay. Yeah. I agree 100% with that, dude. Yes, you know. Now yeah. you can overpay for a snake. <laughs> yes, but if it works for you, so if I'm working on puzzles, clowns, uh, lavenders, and pies, let's say, and someone's like, "Hey, man, I'll tell you this crazy genetic stripe combo for ten grand." I'm like, "Well, it doesn't like tie into anything I'm working with." Right. Right. That would I would consider I'm overpaying for this animal because it doesn't do anything for me. Now, as the seller who has a bunch of G-stripe stuff, it may not he may not when he's selling that he may value that animal at ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. But I don't because it doesn't work for me. Right. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. so if, if I said to you, if I said to you, Joel, hey, I've got like a super OD enchi double hat clown pied female, you're like, yeah. hey, that works for me, you know? Like yeah. I want. That. Right. Yeah. But as someone who's not working with clown pies, they're kind of like, well, I mean, it's still a wicked female for anybody. But, right, right. Yeah, yeah, no, but the same thing, though. It, the, the value on all of these is intrinsic. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't exist. There's no <laughs> way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think that's, that part's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. It is. Some people say. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about producing the ball python Beckett. You know, like the old baseball card Beckett. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I used to be so excited getting my new Beckett for the Yeah. Movie. Yeah, heck yeah. My, my Ken Griffey card went up. I have a Ken Griffey card, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. But, no, I'm joking. But, you know, yeah, it's a, that's a good way of, of looking at it. So I always love what you got to say, man. You have your insight into things, I think, is very unique. And one of the reasons I was super excited to get you on the channel here and, and talking with everybody. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, yeah, I really like your insight. Um, so we just, we breached the hour about eight minutes ago, um, okay. you know, being respectful of everybody's time. Uh, wanted to open it up for any additional kind of Q&A. And we have a fire round that, that Joel always does. So while people are thinking of their questions, um, I'll turn it over to Joel and have whammy with the uh, fire round here. All right. You ready, Will? I am. So, you know, first thing off the top of your head, not a long story. We're just moving through. Uh, you just got to go for it. Tell me to shut up. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. That's exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. So, favorite color? Red. Okay. So, we've been talking about a lot about jeans tonight, genetics, stuff like that. So, in your jeans that you wear, are you a button guy or a zipper guy? Button. Yeah. What? Yeah. Joel found another button. Yeah, you're the yeah. first button, man. You're the first button. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Do they have zippers in Canada, though? That um, might have been a preloaded no, question. The technology still hasn't come here yet, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or something. We can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I'm. We're so much better friends now than you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, favorite childhood movie? Yeah. Happy Gilmore? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Great, <laughs> great, great pick. <laughs> Happy Gilmore? Or like, or like Lion King or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fair. Uh, favorite thing to eat? Food? Yeah. Specifically? Sushi. Okay. Okay. Um, any superpower? What would you have? Ooh, the ability to talk to animals. Okay, Dr. Doolittle. Yeah, Dr. Okay. Doolittle, exactly. I can figure out why these males don't like the girls and all that stuff. Yeah, that would be okay. I like that. I like that too. Flying yeah. is overrated. Yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that, that wraps up lightning round. Uh, I don't know if you saw any questions in chat or anything, Adam. Um, 
I did not see any new questions pop in. Okay. Let's see. Let me look at the notepad and see what we had earlier. Um, oh, uh, Austin asked uh, what you think about the hurricane gene. Well, uh, I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's still a ton of stuff to do with it. A ton of stuff. Uh, I, if, if I had it, I got a couple ideas for it, but uh, it's probably going to get it. So I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I think it, I think it's gonna look really cool in dark stuff. If you can get like that, like like the dark and the contrast with it, I think that's really where it's gonna show. Like either like so cliche, desert ghosts. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw the. I think I saw the hurricane desert ghost, and it's pretty badass. But I saw it as a baby, and I think it's gonna look way better at like six, seven hundred, eight hundred grams. Oh, interesting. I didn't know somebody had made one of those. Oh, that's cool. I believe so. That's crazy. Really? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. So, yeah. yeah, Hurricane Gene, I've looked at it. I don't know. Um, I, you know, my strategy a lot of times so with this stuff is sometimes some of the newer genes like that, If I kind of like to see what's being made with it. That puts me behind the, uh, you know, behind the curve, I should say, sometimes. But, it um, you know. Just take it and spin on it. Yeah. Like, I'm, guys, you... Someone who buys Puzzle in five years is not behind the eight ball on Puzzle. No, well, hell no. Yeah. You know what I mean? People buying, just buying into clowns are not yeah. behind the eight ball on clowns. No. Maybe no. on Firefly clowns, yeah, it's been there, done that. Right, but right. In, it, just go to Morph Market and just like, just for fun, look at how many genes there are and then like try and figure out how many possible combinations you could possibly have. Yeah, it's insane. Like literally trillions. Yeah, insane. I one thing I really wish that happened is if when though when the snakes came out of the egg, they had a little tag that told you what was in them. Uh, I would appreciate that. Oh, if, I mean, if it was barcoded, that would be even better. Would yeah, be, just yeah. Hit it. Yeah. What's like hey, so uh, Jason McAllister wanted to know when you're going to produce the Desert Ghost puzzle, and I agree. Here, here. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 2023 ish. Come on. Uh, <laughs> summer, bro. Hopefully this summer. <laughs> uh, they're pairing. They're, she's building. She's, you know, one and a half centimeter follicles. So it's, it's game time. I only, I think I only have one shot at it this year. And as a younger female, I think she's 22 months. Mm -hmm. So, although. The, Next year, I've got like four shots at it. So, and I'm making more double heads this year. So, you're going for it. You're all in. Going for it. I'm all in. I'm going for I it. I want to see it. I saw the pastel chocolate clown. Yeah. I'm going to make it in puzzle. Yeah. Man. So, uh, you ship worldwide? I do. Yeah. I do. Most to like two, two within like reason. Okay. Wait, so is, Calif is California reasonable? Yeah. What's? No. Yeah. You guys are fine. <laughs> I don't know. Like you said, like Bolivia. Like I'm gonna have. I don't no. know how to get it there. <laughs> That's but, fair. Like, like within reason. So you're 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 lying to us about the worldwide on your on your Instagram. Yeah, I don't ship worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> most most major shows, Ham, Hooten. Um, I can do. I'm going to try and start vending Tinley. Yeah. Tricky, but I'm going to try October. Um, I can ship to anybody, anybody right to your door in the States. Um, and then pick up from major ham shows. If you so choose, if not, I can have it to the airport of your choice. Right. Pretty much. And so how do people get a hold of you? Just as a last little recap. Uh, Royal Canadian reptiles at Gmail, um, at gmail.com. Royal Canadian reptiles on Facebook. Will Moreau's on Facebook or uh, Royal Canadian Reptiles on Instagram. We can have They're the same person. Two different conversations going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what about, you have a YouTube channel too. I do. I do. Yeah. It's uh, really shaky. It's rough. Uh, I'm working on it. I shoot literally everything off my cell phone. Yeah. Um, so I'm telling you guys, like, I'm going to buy a good camera. I'm going to. That's 2019. New year, new me, you know? Right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna work on the YouTube thing. We've got the facility coming along, so I've been pretty preoccupied with 
that sort of thing. And but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, I got, I got a really cool clutch hatching tomorrow that is YouTube worthy. You yeah. gonna do a live? No. Yeah. Yeah. Do that live. Live. Live on Instagram. Well, except, I don't know. I don't know. If you had a plan, I don't want to mess your plan up. But. No, I don't have a plan. I was just gonna let them all come out and shed, and then show you guys what they are. Oh. It's a. Uh, I can tell you what it is. It's a firefly yellow belly leopard clown to a uh, pastel enchi het clown. Ooh, nice. That's an cool. ID. <laughs> they're gonna be hard. Yeah, they're gonna be tough. Yeah, they're, you're gonna need some sheds on those to see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I think like fire is easy enough. Leopard's easy enough. Yeah. Yellow belly is tricky. Can be tricky. Well, especially yeah. yeah. Leopard. leopard. I, I mean, yeah. I think either way. They're gonna look gonna beautiful. They're gonna be beautiful. Yeah. 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 And then I got some desert ghost stuff coming next week as well. Hatch you know, Marshall. Uh, Marshall wanted to know what's average kind of shipping to uh, to the states from Canada. For uh, I would say free shipping on anything over fifteen hundred. Free okay. uh, over fifteen. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. You know what? what is it under that? Uh, it's about two hundred bucks an animal. Okay. Okay. Um, but you know what? I'm willing to work with everybody. So if you guys are, if you guys in the States want to buy something, uh, I'm happy to, you know, let's say Joel wants something, Adam wants something, Marshall wants something. And you guys all grab something. I'm happy to put together a, a shipment and I can send it to, I can have it sent either to each of your guys' houses or if you right. guys each other, you guys can split it up. I don't, whatever you guys want. I'm, I'm, I'm easy. I'll make it work for you. Right. Sweet. I can ship it to your door I can ship it to your airport. You ship it to your mom's house. Right. <laughs> Anywhere there's an address. Bring up mom's, huh? P.O. boxes don't work. Okay. Okay. And neither does Bolivia. Bolivia's tough. I'm going to look <laughs> at that. Yeah. I kind of want uh, that leopard uh, het, het puzzle you got up there, that male. Hmm. May I need to uh, talk to you about that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, a great snake. He, the only reason that's for sale. Absolute only reason that's for sale because I hashed it in double hat. Ooh. Or else I keep it. Ooh, why did you tell me that? I, I'm gonna wait. I'm waiting now. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> the double hats aren't going anywhere, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, well, I've enjoyed our time today. I've had a lot of fun with you. <laughs> laughing. Time. Good time. Uh, last call for anybody. We'll wait 10, 15 seconds. Last chance to get a question in. Last call uh, for alcohol. Yep. Last call for alcohol. It's late up there in the Canadias. <laughs> exactly. Really appreciate everybody sticking in. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, great turnout going. tonight. Thanks, everybody, for that. And yeah. I, John Feely challenged us to four hours tonight, but uh, sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> challenge not accepted. <laughs> no, like, uh, relevant, dang it. It's like 20 after 10 here, so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah all, all you Canadians, uh most of you guys are Toronto guys, except for Cleo, and I know I'm gonna see you this weekend. Uh, I'll see you guys all at the show this weekend. So yeah. Enjoy. And Feely, what's up, man? Uh yeah. You know? Cool. Yeah. All right. get, a me, get a hold of me, I'm easy to talk to. Keep talking though, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, dude, shut up. <laughs> Definitely good. All right, everybody. Well, I appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the live stream going on, and everybody yeah, have a good night. See ya. Yep. See ya. Bye.